So here we have the equation for our new supply curve, our negative 8 plus 2p. And we have our equation for the original demand curve, 32 minus 4p. Because you'll notice in our setup here, in the scenario that we gave, our demand curve isn't moving around at all. So what we want to find is the intersection of these two curves, which is going to happen where our new quantity supplied is equal to our quantity demanded. Or rather, where negative 8 plus 2p is equal to 32 minus 4p. So here we can just say, well, this is going to happen where 6p is equal to 40. So then our p star is equal to 40 over 6, which is 20 over 3, which is about 6.7. Like always, we can find our equilibrium quantity either by plugging the equilibrium price into this supply equation or into this demand equation. So here we could say that our equilibrium quantity is equal to 32 minus 4 times 6.7, which is just 32 minus 26.8, approximately, which is equal to about 5.2. So we can say that our new equilibrium price is about 6.7, and our equilibrium quantity is now 5.2. And we can graph those here. We can say our new equilibrium price, our P1 star, is equal to 6.7. Which makes sense because our old P star was 6, and we were expecting a price increase. Our new Q star is 5.2. which is also not surprising because we're expecting a decrease in quantity. So again, we see quantitatively, we get a decrease in quantity from 8 to 5.2, and we get an increase in price from 6 to 6.7, which is consistent with what we said qualitatively earlier, that a decrease in supply is going to lead to a decrease in equilibrium quantity and an increase in equilibrium price.